of the meeting, December 11th. Are we ready to okay yeah, then? Okay, then fine, Salmi. And community input. Do you have some questions? Can we have your name right and right. just a street yeah. number? Or street? So, I'm Christina Hill. Well, just come right up here. Okay. So, I'm Christina Hill. I live at 415 Pleasant Street. Oh. Hi. Um, so, I have a couple questions. They mentioned today um, that we need to uh, file for a variance. And I didn't know who. What are you trying I, to do? Yeah. So, what we're trying to do is we have a pre existing structure, a uh, shed slash garage, and it's um, the foundations kicked in on three sides. It's, pre it's about as old as our house, about over 100 years old. All we want to do is take it down and build the exact same thing and the same footprint, just sick. Who, who, took, who said you needed a variance? I think it was Tim, is that the building permit? Tom. 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 Yeah. Okay, Tom Clark. Well, he, it doesn't, I mean, so, you have to do something really on the same it. footprint. You, so, you that's what yeah. I thought, because when I spoke with, um, I had a message back and forth with Sarah, is, and she was, in, and made me believe, and I'm, I'm thinking that her beliefs were, as long as we're on the exact same footprint, there shouldn't be a problem. We're not looking to expand it, not add water, nothing. Well, we'll see if it's in there and if he's given a reason. Okay. But, I, but, but here's, so if there is some reason that the zoning yeah. ordinance wouldn't allow us to, to approve this, what we would do is deny it. Yeah. And then you take it to the zoning board. But, okay. So we would have, you can't go to the zoning board until you have a, a right. grievance. So one. the right. grievance is the, the, the board's denial of mm -hmm. your... Mm -hmm. But it's in Pleasant Street, right? Yeah, 415 Pleasant Street. Uh, when did you talk to He was messaging my husband today. Um, and so he probably still has a building permit. He might still have it. Okay. He can still be working on it. Uh, so my other question was, so we also met with Caroline. So how do we find, she said that we'd have to reach out to 200, um, 200 feet from our property, like people. There's... For the zoning oh, board. If, right. if you go to the zoning board, board okay. the butters need to be notified of the hearing. And okay. so butters are defined either by the properties that are right that, okay. that butt you, uh -huh. but if it's very dense, then maybe there are others as well. You know, okay. Yeah, we live you know, we yeah, live downtown. Yeah. So you're on the, the old the old salmon falls district. Yeah. So it's I don't the, think he is, knew that. It's the average mm -hmm. it's the average <laughs> Every property there predates zoning. Yes. Every, every property, I'm pretty safe to say, almost every property almost. in the village predates zoning. So it, it's, um, as you, you probably notice, it's haphazard. It's like a, a like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Some of the properties it, it don't seem to make sense, but yeah. it is what it is. You need to find the in, the, in that in, the, in that district. It's the average of um, your setback. Is the average. Of uh, the properties that are around you, it's not like yeah. like a, on a quote unquote compliant lot. Um, if we did today, subdivided today, it would have to be like, 25 feet back, that sort of thing. Yeah. So, so he may not understand that you're in that district. He okay. might think you're in a different district. Our neighbors' garage is two and a half feet from our. <coughs> exactly. Exactly. And then their neighbors behind us are four feet. Right. Christine, do you have an email? Yeah, it's redhairinc at gmail inc. And I know. I-N-C? Yes. Okay. So R-E-D-H-A-I-R-I-N-C. Mm -hmm. At Gmail. At Gmail. Okay. What what we'll do is we'll I'll email Tom, okay. copy you, okay. and then we'll because we don't I don't see a denial there. Uh -huh. Yeah. The town I don't know when you submitted it. We do have thirty days to act on it. Last week, but we okay. were just, so I was just I didn't know how that process worked because I've never really so first, we, we, maybe it won't be denied. Maybe there's a misunderstanding or Tom isn't aware of something. So okay. we'll check that out. Yeah. So the, but the process, should we deny it, you'll know why. It's okay. either, who knows, I don't know. I'm, yeah. I'm not going to guess. But let's say it's something with the setbacks. Then you would take that to the zoning board. Okay. Okay. Because, yeah, right now, we don't want to put lists <coughs> or anything. We just want to... Replace this, yeah. Exactly so, the same thing, right. just with the right same off the top of our heads, the two of us, we don't know what an issue might be. We haven't seen the building permit, okay. right? So okay. I don't, we don't want to. Yeah. I mean, no, I, I, mean I am familiar with your property, yeah. Uh, but I, it, it's it's kind of it, I I don't want to speculate. Well, we don't know. So okay. yeah. Tom says, so, yeah. but that is the process, okay. and we'll keep you posted, and, right. and we'll at least find out from Tom when he yeah. thinks it might get to us. Okay, because I just we just want to make it safe. We don't know if we'll make it in the winter, but I want to tear it down 
if it's not going to be. Oh, yeah, if, I, I do understand that. You know, because that's the it. only storage we have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, and we don't meet next Monday, obviously. Right, for Christmas. Right. But and we're then going to they be don't meet Thursday. We're going to be on the 28th. So. You don't have to be, I'm just saying. Okay. Okay. You could oh, hear 20th, from us. Okay. Yeah. Actually, do that's 28th off. Okay. All right, cool. Thank you. Because I you. just didn't know how it worked, and I thought. It well, should be grandfathered in just because everyone is exactly the same as mine. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll, in this we'll part try of, to figure in this out part what of it town, is. It, it, it must just be a. I'm assuming it's a misunderstanding. Okay. But there could be some other issue that we're not thinking of that he knows of because he's right intimately I, familiar with the building codes. Yeah. So. I know. The other option is we talk to the contractors to lift it, which is sketchy. Lift it, fix the foundation, and drop it back down, down, and then replace all the center beams. So that's going to cost me another ten thousand dollars more than actually taking and building yeah, exactly. Let's it. find out what the issue might be. Okay. Right, right, right. All right. I would like to go have a nice evening. Route. Drive safely. Drive safely. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, oh, I yeah. will. I can yeah. pretty much walk Any there. Any other community input? Okay. Chief Dusharm, I believe you are our sole department head. Oh, well, you're going down. <laughs> Come on down. Have a good holiday. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Uh-oh, he's going he's gonna, to yeah. stack. No, he's not oh. only a stack. Oh, Descartes? Calculate. Oh, no. Let me just let me just <laughs> the, the uh, right. on it. Oh, because, okay. oh, I see. For you with your paraphernalia. Probably all my, all my gear, yes. yes. <laughs> okay, thank you. Here tonight to talk to you folks about spending some money in the surplus that we had not anticipated at the beginning of the year. Just to give you a quick rundown of, of uh, where these items will come from, uh, if you look at the, the Chief's line item, as of the end of November, there was $11,325.64 left in that line item. When you deduct the 120 hours that I'll work in December, uh, minus the 16 hours that's going to be charged to contract the services as opposed to come on that line item. That's going to leave, uh, I put down 6,000, I was being conservative there. It's actually probably going to be somewhere between $7,500 to $8,200 left in that line item at the end of the year. Uh, and that, that would include also taking the 2250 for the lieutenant's pay raise out of that line item. So that so that surplus you just said the seventy five hundred to eighty two that that's going beyond the what Correct. we took for the ten. Okay. Um, from officer number three, we started with thirty nine thousand nine hundred ninety nine dollars. Um, I conservative put down anticipated salary of sixteen thousand when it really it's, it's going to be closer to uh, thirteen thousand eight hundred forty five dollars sixty cents by the time it's the end of the year. So I, I left a little left a little extra money in there. Uh, the board requested $5,000 for um, town hall maintenance. Uh, we had the equipment overage of $5,090.84, and that was for the, uh, the two grants that we got that we didn't anticipate, the MDTs plus the uh, e-ticket system. So um, we have remaining in that line item, or we'll have remaining in that line item, a minimum of $13,908.16, really close to, to $15,900. 16 cents. Uh, the first issue uh, we're looking at is um, I received uh, a quote from Mid Construction about tearing down the um, town shed on Silver Street. They quoted us $13,500. When I asked them, uh, you know, what their price would be if they did it during the winter months, they said they would drop it down to $11,500. In the health insurance line, on those $91,032 left in that line item. According to Caroline, we spent uh, $63,577.71, and she anticipates around uh, eight to 9000 for December. I uh, added a little extra dollars to round up to ten. Uh, so we're looking at $73,577.71 at, at, the, at the max. That leaves us remaining in that line and with a minimum of $17,454.29. I would recommend to the board that we take the <coughs> mid-construction demo out of that, uh, that that particular line item on the surplus, and that will leave us in there somewhere around six thousand to, to seven thousand, eight thousand uh, dollars left by the end of the year. I mean, even if we don't do something to the police department at that property, at least we've eliminated the eyesore up there, 
and this certainly allows the town to decide to sell, sell that in the future, as opposed to uh, um, you know putting out next year's budget to demo or, or whatever. So it's also being vandalized. Or possibly have the it's a nuisance. Yeah, there's right. that attractive right. nuisance or whatever right. you call it. Yeah. You've got something like and that. And they will take out the middle building. They will take out all the cement uh, foundation floorings uh, for that building. All of the outbuildings that are up there, mm -hmm. they use the, the sand and salt. All of the utility pole structures that they have there as well, that they used to hang the, um, the, the blades on and whatnot, and the sanders. And all of the old fencing around the property and shrubbery and trees along the edges where the, where the fence line is. The shrubberies? The shrubs? The shrubs the that, that have grown up. So whatever, whatever's in the way of, of the outbuildings over there is going to whip it all out of there. Okay. Yeah. And so you have a, do you have an official quote? Do you I, have a purchase I order? Do you I, have a, I have a purchase order as well. So this says thirteen thousand. Right, but I have a sticky there right where I spoke to him, and oh, cool. during, during the winter months I'll subtract two thousand dollars. Okay. Shall we put this on the floor and talk about yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. I'll okay. move that we. I have a purchase. Well, I have a purchase order number thirteen forty-five. Okay. Made out to mid construction for the demo of the old Howie Palmer building for eleven thousand five hundred dollars. All right, I'll move purchase order number thirteen forty-five to mid construction for eleven thousand five hundred dollars for demolition of the old highway department building. I'll second that. Okay. All right. So let's chat. <coughs> Excuse me. So. You didn't earmark any of this. Uh, no, okay. uh, actually, I went <laughs> through. I went through this money with Chief Ducharme okay. on Saturday. Well, whenever, whenever we did it, I have to put it Friday. Okay. So the, the money is available in his own uh, area with even, notwithstanding the fact that he, we, we've sucked 5000 out of there for town hall maintenance. Right. Uh, and there would still be, if I read this correctly, still a surplus in, in the police department. So what I like about getting rid of the buildings is exactly what you said, Chief Ducharme. I mean, it's a, it's a town asset. Right now there is a, a very unattractive uh, building on it that is just susceptible to vandalism. And so if we were to set, want to sell the asset, the land, it would behoove us to have it looking right. better. If we were going to use it for a police station, for example, we would need to get rid of the building. And just if we want to be good neighbors and not have an eyesore in the middle of a residential area, it would be a nice thing to to just raise that. So, so the project itself uh, seems to be a good. <coughs> I, I don't know what you might. I don't actually have an issue with it. I, my my concern was we were we would have been concerned with cash flow for a, a, a number of months, but if you're not concerned about it. I'm. Well, only because I mean I would have been, <laughs> except I you know we kind of went through it carefully. So unless yeah. you know we're both making a, a mistake, right. uh, the money is there. The building needs to come down one way or another. Like, so my other question is, is could you kind of um, make us feel better again about going with one quote, with mid construction, you know, anything you can... Well, just knowing that, you know, mid construction's been in town forever, and I just felt that, uh, one, I didn't know who else would do that, to be honest with you, two, um, you know, when, when they've worked with the town in the past, they've always been... Uh, uh, very competitive and giving us a uh, you know a fair shape in town here. So that's that's why I want them making. I didn't do anybody else. And they are all taking two thousand off the Correct. the original quote. Correct. I mean, do you are you disquieted by this at all? Oh well, well, we've talked about the uh, an estimated cost before, and it was uh, God, I'm trying to remember between 10 and 13, I think we sort of bounced that number around. Yeah, Jody had it. I don't right. know. Right, yeah, that's what it was. It was a lot more expensive than I thought it was going to be. It was a lot more expensive. That's why we were so excited yeah. when we thought um, yeah. Burke was going to take yeah. it because we were going to save a bunch of money, but yeah. uh, so, some money. So while we don't have a purchasing policy formally in place, uh, it 
the board can at any time waive, uh, for its own reasons, waive the need for additional quotes. Um, I like the fact if we can, can we squeeze if we can squeeze this in with 2017 money, which I think is what we're trying to do. Is that yes. correct? So I'm, 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 I can go with it if you want. Anything I, else? I, I don't know. I don't, I'm not trying to give an unfair advantage to one company over another. I don't know. I'm not in the demolition business, so I don't yeah, know. I don't, I don't uh, know. So I like the fact that he's in town. He's done work for the town before. Um, it's going to get done soon, too. It's right? going to get done soon, so we'll be able to do it. We'll get invoiced, and, or we'll at least have a PO, so he will get invoiced soon, I suspect. Oh, we'll ask him for an invoice before the end of the year. Yeah. And you can always cut the check from this budget, but we don't pay him until January, February, yeah. March, whenever they, whenever they do it. Okay. All right. I will, unless you have an objection, I'll call the question. <laughs> and all those in favor say aye. 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 Today is the 18th. Okay. Now, I'm very much not the person who normally does this. Do you get this back? I do. Okay. And. Last time I have on the wish list, if you look under uh, the final uh, paragraph from Officer 3, again, we start with 39999 dollars anticipated salary, 16000 the board requested 5000 equipment grants, uh, 5090 and tonight I'm going to ask the board if we can spend $8,322.93 uh, equipment for, for Officer uh, uh, Will Hancock and the SWAT team and to make repairs to the rifle that we had damaged uh, when we were out shooting. Uh, I'm looking to fully equip Officer um, Hancock uh, with a complete suit that they need for the SWAT team, you know, the helmet, the ballistic shield, the ballistic vest, the, the, uh, um, the heavy duty ballistic uh, plates that they put in the front and the back, the throat protector, the groin protector, Scary combat stuff. shirt, <laughs> combat bat, uh, combat pant, uh, gloves, um, and a CBRN canister. That's a uh, that's what we, the gas mask that they wear for if they have to go into a tear gas situation or, or a pepper spray situation. Um, <sighs> for the repairs on the AR-15, they got damaged. It's a trigger guard, bolt assembly. Um, as you know, uh, office, we sent Officer LaJoy to the armors class so he can fix these items so we don't have to send them up to get them freshly created. Uh, so he's looking to get a, a, a toolkit to make the necessary changes. Uh, we're looking to put four red dot uh, mounts on our four existing uh, rifles. Uh, four, eight slings, four for the shotguns, four for the rifles, so they're all the same. Uh, bus lock adapters and tech sling mounts uh, for them. See if I missed anything here. Oh, and for uh, Officer Hancock on the SWAT team, uh, his own SIG M400 rifle with the uh, the red dot tactical light grips. So everything said and done, it comes to eight thousand three hundred and twenty-three dollars and ninety-three cents, and I actually included. $100, $200, $300 in shipping. I know the shipping won't uh, um, be that expensive. But I, that's included. I, I like, uh, right, that's included in this price. I, I went high because I know some of the items um, are heavy. Like the vest is very heavy and the helmet's kind of heavy. So I, I did the, uh, the shipping on the high side, but I don't really anticipate spending the $300 for, for that. Mm -hmm. So assuming that, that you approve that tonight, uh, that means from the Officer 3 line I have spent $34,414.77, uh, which will remain in that account at the end of the year, a minimum of $55,84.23. So, so the, the purchase order we just signed, the $11,500, is coming entirely from the money in the health insurance line? That's Correct. Right, and so now the 
purchase orders that you're about to give us are going to come all from uh, the Office, Office of Security. Three line items. Okay. All right. Leaving us still with a. Well, the minimum five thousand five hundred eighty-four dollars twenty-three cents in that line item. Okay. Yeah. Uh, because you know, for the Office of Three. Uh, again, we're, we're spending uh, just under fourteen thousand dollars for a salary, but I started at about sixteen thousand. Gives a little buffer, so a two thousand dollar buffer there, so that could be used elsewhere yes. if, if something else happens. <laughs> yeah. So now, so can we, so we don't have. Let's look. So now I'm worried about <coughs> old year, new year. So you haven't ordered these yet. Correct. All right. So when when would you order them? When would we get the bill? I could actually order them tomorrow. Yeah. Because um, Caroline said that she. Had has my uh, credit card ready for me to work and sign? Yes. So I okay. To All right. And uh, so we, we get the bill. Uh, not with you. You cannot for eight thousand dollars though. Right. Well, one would be twenty three. One would be forty four. Or, or I could ask them. We could ask them to submit. We can. What I would suggest is that. So you, you all buy your loan some, or anybody, any other person with a town, not just you in particular. I think there's a, a four hundred dollar minimum per purchase. So, but these are available online. Is is this how you would Correct. want all, to order all, them? All these are available online. So if they're yeah. payable by a credit card, then they would show up on our credit card bill. So we could. Uh, I think that would, we want to we want to check with Tom to make sure that. The credit card bill that comes in in January will come off of our 2017 mm -hmm. funds. Or what I could do when, when I, I could have the ask these companies to um, submit the invoice prior to the 31st. The check gets cut. We just don't send the check out until we actually get the equipment. Uh, I mean, that yeah. So. So we have two options. We have the credit card, which we, we can. I, I think we we can, we can cover ourselves, if, on the purchase order, we expressly say that you may use the town credit card for this purchase. Okay. okay? So that will give you, the, you know, that will say that it, the board is okay with this. It doesn't change our credit card policy. It doesn't mean that the next day you go out and do a similar purchase. But Especially you know, we payment. want we want to be able to make the you know, our policies and our practices and our procedures rational. But for purchases like this, the board does need to get involved. So, but I think if we just say we're okay, then you ought to be able to use the credit card. If that's what we say on the purchase order for this, you know, for this thing only. Okay. But, and we'll have Caroline check with Tom ASAP to make sure that the credit card bill in January, what is, will, will it all come from? 2017 funds. So we'll do that um, okay. just to make sure. So I have purchase order number 1316 to Body Armor Outlet LLC. Tactical vest, two body armor plates, gas mask pouch, general purpose pouch, radio pocket, double mag pouch, safari bang pouch, throw protector, groin protector, black sleeves, $2,362.77. It's purchase order number one three one six. Two thousand three hundred sixty two dollars seventy seven cents. Thank you. Did you just I haven't done it? Okay. I'm, I'm waiting with data for us. Okay. This is yeah. Just, just just you see the next one. Yeah. I don't really have to read all I'm not going to. All right, I'm gonna move purchase order for discussion. Purchase order number one three one six. To body armor outlet LLC for um, uh, assorted uh, tactical gear, uh, uh, assorted tactical swap gear, for $2,362.77. I'll second that. So my question is, is it, um, is that sort of standard operating practice for the towns who are offering up a SWAT, uh, an officer for the SWAT team to supply the, the, equipment, the equipment for that officer? So the next question someone's going to ask us is, what benefit does the town of Rollins receive to the $8,000 total bill by having Officer Hancock on the team? 
know if, if we have any of the SWAT team over here, they, they'd obviously come without question. Um, if Officer uh, Hancock was sent someplace else, uh, you know, we were fully protecting our officer, we're not sending an officer in there with all the proper equipment. Right. Yeah. What is the life, you know, what, what is the lifespan of this? I guess what I'm driving at is, from an, an annualized point of view, what we might be increasing our equipment uniform budget by roughly how much would you say? The amount of time that it gives, I'm, uh, I'm going to uh, say it's going to be at least 10 years, <coughs> 10 to 12 years. You know, our, the vests that we wear every day are good for five years. Uh, this gets worn only on those few special occasions uh, and whatnot, so you should get 10 to 12 years out of this easily. So we wouldn't necessarily see, unless there had been an unusual situation, any kind of replacement over the next two or three years? Correct. Okay. I mean, certainly if the gas mask that you use, you might have to replace the gas right. mask. Sure. But that would the vest and the accessories are, are good, uh, assuming that uh, uh, you know nothing gets projectiled into the vest. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's, it's good for until... Mm -hmm. it, it's really sobering to think about all of this, to be perfectly honest with you. And the SWAT team, from what I understand, have been called out uh, in the last couple of months, three or four times. Really? Yeah. So, just down the road, not too long ago, over on uh, Three River Farm, a couple months ago. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready to call the question. So I'm just, I'm still. Well, no, because people are going to ask us, you know, yeah, why the heck are you spending yeah. this much money? For yeah, it's, it's not. Like it's this, not just the money either. It's also yeah. the idea of. The, the necessity for this and the times that we live in that we, we hope we never have to use them. Yeah. All right, so I'm ready to call the question on this purchase order, <coughs> which is for uh, roughly $2,300, $2,400. All those in favor say aye. 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 I should have asked her for that one to be honest with you, but I'll ask it. I'll, I'll wait. So, do we have any kind of any kind of um, deal with Officer uh, Officer Hancock that now that we bought, we're going to be buying all this stuff that he's actually going to stick around and stay with our department long enough? So well, we, we have we have no formal deal okay. now, no, no agreement or anything like that. Um, well, how much of this is person related, though? Uh, I mean. Also, the rifle size. anyone can use. Right, yeah, so right. Just, well, within reason. I don't mean, right. I don't mean it that way. I mean, you can go from officer <coughs> to officer. But the only thing that's fitted to the officer yeah. is, the, is the actual vest itself. That's actually okay. fitted to the officer. But everything else can go from one it's officer just, yeah. to another. Okay. Okay. Is that, uh, yeah. No, and I understand that part completely. I just, you know, folks, are, I think folks are going to say, you know, it's an awful lot of money on one officer. Yeah. And we've seen yeah. folks come and go. Um, yes, understood. So it's a good question. Good question. Purchase order number 1342 to Brunel's Firearms. Uh, eight of the magazines, one AR-15 trigger guard, one bolt carry assembly, one AR-15 punch kit, one AR professional tool kit, four red dot rise mounts, eight slings, that's for four, or four shotguns and four slings, four buttstock adapters, that's for shotguns, and four tech sling mounts, those are for the rifles. $1,461.68. Yeah, we got to the right way, you know. <laughs> first, that, that's the expense of the store. I'll move first order number 1342 to Brownells Firearms for um, uh, assorted parts uh, and gear for um, AR 15 and for our shotguns. For one thousand four hundred sixty-one dollars and sixty-eight cents. I will second that. So, <coughs> it, not, is, this, is this related? This isn't necessarily related to the SWAT this team. This is more for us. Some of it is yes. Okay. Yeah. But this stuff here, all the, all the the top stuff you're talking about, the trigger guard and the the uh, system repair, that repair the existing rifle, rifle, rifle we have. Okay. Can I have that other one back? I was going to say, do you want a note on here? Yes, that, yeah. All this stuff. I think it's great that he took that course because it, it's certainly going to help you in the long run. Right, now we don't have to ship them out to someone yeah. to have them yeah. repaired. We should talk about Officer LaJoy, I'm sure, too, when you're done. He's been a busy, busy man from what I see in the papers. 
in a good way. <laughs> before anyone thinks that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, all right. I'm saying that you can use it to make this purchase. I think. Talk to Caroline because there's an a bank is monitoring some kind of upper limit. I don't sure. remember what that is. So if 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 we can't get that part straightened out, what is our alternative? Is to ask them to submit a uh, invoice prior ASAP. to December thirty first. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is that all? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You know, maybe we can get a one-time uh, what for I mean, Maybe it'll just allow us to purchase on the purchase order itself and send it to the invoice right away. That 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 would be fine too. So we'll we'll just have we'll have all these options. We didn't vote on this one yet though, right? No. Okay, did we put it on the floor? It's on the floor. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you. We're ready to call the question. All right, I want something to say aye. Aye. All right. All right. see by the level of my handwriting that I don't uh, do longhand very often. <laughs> my uh, Palmer method, you know, Catholic school <laughs> cursive yeah, writing has declined. clearly deteriorated. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Hmm? Yeah, I used to do exercises. Circles and lines. Yes. Uh, the last item was 1343 to Atlantic Tactical. Uh, this one is for the SIG M400 rifle, the ballistic dot, the tactical light, the rear sight, the front sight, the foregrip, the sling system, the sling attachment point, tactical hood uh, for the officer, for the SWAT team, the combat shirt, the combat pant. This is the one that has the, can the, uh, the canister on attached to it, a uh, pair of no, no mix gloves. And if you remember correctly, uh, several months ago, um, we had purchased two flashlights and two special holders mm -hmm. for our, our duty firearms. Mm -hmm. uh, the officers have, have evaluated them and um, uh, they like them uh, significantly and they think that's going to be a big improvement for the officers. So you no longer have to carry a flashlight in one hand and be able yep. to. So, so yep. in here I have, since we've already purchased two of them, I have 10 of the Savari Land holsters, mm -hmm. the holsters that we'll need, and 10 of those uh, Streamlight tattoo flashlights. For a grand total of $4,499.48. Quit the discount. For the rifle, anyways. Um, we'll purchase order number 1343 for Atlantic Tactical for. <coughs> that's going to be difficult. For one rifle, uh, associate, associated uh, gear for the rifle. And um, uh, uniform uh, uh, parts uh, for four thousand four hundred ninety-nine dollars and forty-eight cents. Awesome. Oh, I forgot the flashlights or whatever. That's all right. It's, it's in the uniform part, I guess. I don't think we have to say it verbally. I don't, no. I don't think it's necessary. Actually. All right. So I've just seconded it, I believe. Uh, and my question was, again, is is all of this swap related, or is it both? So, well, so obviously the flashlight uh, is for everybody. Right. The top two things are, um, are SWAT related. The last two items are for everyone else. The flash, the, the, the mini flashlights attached to their uh, handheld. <coughs> uh, so actually, the bulk of it is in the, the flash, the lights. Yes, but then everything in between is yes, uh, is sort officer of. specific, right? Because it's right, that, that's so. right. That's for uh, officer uh, handheld. Yeah. Not very much. Okay, we're ready to ready to go. All right, I'll call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 And you'll thank Officer Hancock again for us for his willingness to participate. No, I'm serious. I mean, it's not like it's not like he's. I'm sorry. I'm a cakewalk. I mean, it's not like he's going to be having. You know. It's a lot of fun. I mean, this is a dangerous thing he signed up for. So. 
And it, it, allows us, right, it allows us to participate in the SWAT right. team right, right. so that, you know, we're sort of holding our own. Yeah. Um, we pray we never need them. For sure. Seven made up of two-way communications, um, and this is really a, a mistake on my part. Um, when we had the uh, MDTs, the two MDTs from that grant that we had installed in, in the in the in the cruisers, um, I thought that we had done a purchase order back then for the installation. Apparently, we did one just for the purchase of the equipment with the grant. So I had received the invoice prior to the purchase order, and I didn't mark on here overlooked uh, previously with my <coughs> officials. So, uh, again, 1317, we have two-way communications, $420 to install the two mobile data terminals in Cruiser 71, 74, and that will come out of our equipment line item. Purchase order number 1317, the two-way communications for the installation of mobile data. Um, Terminals in, in Cruiser 71 and 74 for quarter, $420. I'll second that. So the, the budget dollars that they're in. <coughs> okay. yeah. And this is not a, a match for the grant, so it comes out of your, your operating budget, not the. This comes out of, the, the, comes out of the, my budget, yes. Okay. I don't know. I'm not paying attention. Did I second this? All right. So, then I'll call the question. All those in favor say aye. aye. I'm used to having a second. I don't want to be tonight. There's only two of us tonight, and that's right. Yes, we did. And the last the same item that I have here is, um, I've already spoken to Suzanne, Suzanne about this, but a couple weeks ago, one of my officers arrested somebody, got busy with the arrest, took everything out of his pocket, stuck it on the, the trunk of the cruiser. Um, the kids say, can I call my dad? The officer handed his phone, called his dad, put the phone back on the trunk of the cruiser, put him back in the car, waited for the tow truck, and when it was time to go, took off. Leaving the, the cell phone in the trunk of the car, cell phone has since disappeared. I spoke with the kid and his father, and they replaced it under their insurance, or replaced part of it. They, they claimed it under insurance, but they, they still had to pay $200 um, for the phone. And uh, uh, the kid was kind of destitute. He was kind of hoping to get payment before Christmas. So I've actually already paid him. I've got a receipt here, the $200 uh, for the lost phone. So, was it, the kid, I'm sorry, was the, it was the kid's phone? It was the kid's phone. Okay. Yeah. It's under his dad. It's under his dad's okay. phone. Okay. I wasn't sure if it was the officer's phone or the no. kid's phone. I got no. you. Okay. No. We're making no. restitution. We're making I restitution. I, I, I thought I was following along, but I. Okay. And I will say, in all the time that I've been here, this is the first time that I, I recall that we ever lost something that belonged to somebody else. So, so I have third, purchase order number 1346 uh, made out to me for reimbursement for a lost phone belonging to Mr. Hinchy, and that will come out of our uniform line item for $20. Honest mistake. So, I'm going to purchase order number 1346, reimbursement for Chief Duchamp for $200. I'll second that. And can I see the. <coughs> All right, I'm ready to go. Call the question. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Though. I mean, it's okay. Well, we can, can sure. Yeah, because uh, doesn't it seems more like it's not your equipment, but I, where else would we put it? 
not uniforms. Well, I, I just want to line up and have a few dollars. Yeah, left so but it's okay as long as we're covering. Sure. It'll, it'll be covered Maybe somewhere we no just, matter what. Let's ask Caroline where she thinks it should be from an okay. accounting perspective. Is, sure. that, is that fair? That is fair. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, the last item, uh, I read in the paper and saw the, our Facebook page and whatnot, that uh, Officer Joy was uh, dispatched to a non responsive overdose. Uh, fortunately, he was just around the corner when, when the call came in and started CPR. Uh, the guy was blue, uh, not uh, non responsive, not, no, no faults, uh, not breathing, and uh, started CPR and uh, maintained CPR until the fire department and the rescue squad got there. So, uh, well, our congratulations. So, between, congratulations. between everybody, you know, they, they saved the guy. He's uh, uh, was sent to the hospital. I understand first he didn't want to go to the hospital, but convinced him to go to the hospital. And uh, certainly we hope that uh, with a second chance in life now mm -hmm. that uh, he's a little more productive. And well, our congratulations and our we are so proud of what he's done. And, and it's a difficult situation to walk in on. And he, yeah. you know, with his training, with his experience, he was able to manage it. So that's great. It's great news all around. And as, as we know, kudos to the fire rescue as well. I mean, they, yes, they all, they all absolutely. did their part. And they did absolutely. What time that, of so. day was this? Just curious. Was it? it was evening. It was evening. It's like 8.30 at night. Oh, okay. I was going to say around 8.15 or something like that. Yeah. yeah. So. Okay. Oh, good for him. That's all that I have. Anything for me? After I, all I, that. I would say <laughs> that you <laughs> put a good enough. evening's More work, Chief Ducharme. Right. Yes. Well, thank, thank you very much. And, uh, thank you. Have a nice holiday. Good you day. as well. And thank you to the Police Benevolent Association. <laughs> I understand uh, the great school is going to see a movie on Friday. Is it this Friday? I think so. Okay. Well, I know we're sitting in our VF just waiting yeah. to get oh, the point possible, by the way. Where, where are we going to go see? I think uh, Ferdinand the Bull. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah there's another movie for the Bull. Yeah. 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 It's I don't great. think we'll sixth graders want to go see that. There's another, I don't know the other thing it is, but that's what Liz was going to see. She's all excited. Yeah. It saves me from having to sit through Ferdinand. Thank you. <laughs> so it comes out on video, and I'll be watching it over and over and over again. All right, thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. Chief Rockford. Oh, excuse me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Good. Good. Not spending any money. Yay. Thank you. Yeah. 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 You're not spending any money tonight. <laughs> Not tonight. Just some updates on some things. Excellent. Um, stuff that Caroline <laughs> wanted me to make sure I supply her with. These are all the invoices. I know. Is that the pile that goes to her? That's all the invoices. Anything she's going to need for two way or the towel. For the what? The towel. For the command. Oh, sorry. Yes. That's the stuff from the radio, the lightings, and okay. the graphics. All right. And we'll make sure she gets in that. There, she'll have that. This yeah. is. Also, some of the other invoices that we've had. Simo's been in the station. He completed his work. There's an invoice, even though I think she already has one, but I got another one here for the painting, which was done. And then, are you aware of the light the issue with the light above the he, front entrance? He buttonholed me one morning when I was here, and I was doing this, that, and the other thing, and I'm, I don't. So, so, do you have anything else to? There's an estimate right there on the top. Oh, good. He said he would send it. Okay. It came to me. So all that stuff is right there. Place like this, the light above the main entrance. And what do you do? You know, that one's like. Oh, are these, are these? Those are just the other ones for the fire station. These are you. This is the only one for that. For that, yeah. So, so whatever you want to do with that one. All right. You know, well, Michael and I can talk about it. I don't want yeah. to, we don't need to keep you here. We'll talk about it later. Anything else? Yeah. But he's not, but that one there, he's not going to, you know, like right now it's got the two screwing bulbs. He's going to put in just one unit, a little bit smaller than the one that's on the side of the fire station that lights up the whole, mm -hmm. the whole skate and rink and everything. Going to be that kind of thing. It'll be LED, so it's going to be much more efficient than looking at it. Okay. Um, as an update, um, the town's new fire truck is sitting in Milton. They're finishing. It is in state. It's in state. Okay. Made it from Iowa to here. Wow. They arrived uh, on Friday. It's been up there getting cleaned, final stuff, uh, and all the graphics is being applied. So basically, it'll probably show up. When in the fire station. That's great. That's excellent. That's our hands and the our best. So Mark and I spent last one day. It was the taste. Seamless was here. Wednesday morning. 
and Wednesday. Duke Charmacy was it was a busy day to go over the terms and conditions of the DERA grant, mm -hmm. and we don't see any difficulty because the time the the, the timeline the tick 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 starts once the new truck is put in service. Okay. So there's it's not arrival, but once it's in right. service. So Perfect. you know whatever training, whatever outfitting, whatever training, whatever Good. whatever uh, Chief Rutherford thinks needs to happen will be fine, and then we'll we'll have a date when it goes. Gets put into service, okay. and then within I don't remember exactly, but we went through it all within a certain number of. It was like ten days. Yeah, we have to take service. one out, so we have fifteen days to take the other one out, all right, yeah. and then we have three months to destroy it, or oh. or March thirty first, whichever happens sooner. I actually think March thirty first. Sooner, I would sooner think. Sooner than three months. Oh, it'll be done as soon as, so, as, yeah. soon as the engine is service ready to go. Yeah. We, don't, we don't have room for it all, so it's yeah. going to be gone within a week after. We and I've alerted. How do we just? I know we had to. What, oh, it's in there. The block. I understand yeah, that, that part. I, yeah. I, I kind of understand. But what do we? Um, what do we do with it after it's been drilled? The salvage company's got to see it. I guess we give it to them. Or sell it. Or okay. I don't know if it goes just to them. I, mean, I never inquired whether it belongs to them or if it's still town property and we can sell off and scrap. I mean, we're allowed to, so I suppose you could ask. Do, you, do, do, do we have a price for, for the, this job? Did he give you there is no price. They just want to take it and do it. Really? That's mm -hmm. very kind. In anticipation of that they're going to get the truck from being able to scrap it. Okay. Well, that's probably yeah. a and that fair idea. It's probably a fair trade. Yeah. Well, I was because the last time we sold a fire truck, we only. We didn't get we didn't very get much. Very much. So it probably be probably got less than what they would charge us to yeah. destroy the vehicle. So my so, uh, my fear was we were going to destroy it and then we had we were going to have to pay to get rid of it. Okay. Right. But they're yeah. going to take it and it's just I don't going away. I'm going to I'll follow up and make sure that's correct. But I I think that's what uh, Kevin and I have negotiated okay. with these people. So you know, in reality, we're getting 119 thousand dollars. Right. 109. 109. And it's almost 110. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Um, the last thing that I want to do, since I know what the next couple of Mondays is going to be, so it'll be in January for a meeting again. The, the, the next Monday is January 8th, but we are meeting the Thursday of the oh. week between Christmas and New Year's. So. Oh, okay. 28th will be done. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, all I have is I have some state uh, forms here from uh, uh, Division of Forest and Lands. It's the annual thing where you guys need to sign off so that we can resubmit our myself as the warden, oh, right, the and then uh, yeah. for the deputy wardens. So I need your signatures on three different sheets of paper. You got a tower somewhere we don't know about. Yeah. That. <laughs> we walk through all the stuff down there. These, these two are the same, and those oh, okay. because we're putting two people on. And then here's the official blue one that. So who is the who the, you would be the person? chairperson? Right, but who is the person we're appointing? We're gonna have there's two new members to uh, <coughs> we lost two and we're taking two. Oh, I see. On. Oh, okay. So you're gonna put the name of the yeah. individual. Okay. Yeah, that's just an addition form that the state needs, and it has to be filled out on that separate piece. And this is the official official one for myself. Mm -hmm. oh, they can fire permits all that stuff. Right, that's what it's for. Basically, it's for you know, all of the, the burning needs of the community yeah. and the state fire laws for more water and stuff. We got a new a new ranger and a forest ranger. The guy we had left for like 16 months. He's moved on, so now it's really? a guy and you've met him yet. They they go through them pretty quick. Yeah. The guy we have now used to be on the western side of the state. Now he's mm -hmm. You know, they call him. They call them forest wardens. All they are is the recognition they don't fight fire in this section. You know, they had some up there by uh, forest wardens and all yeah, that sort sure. of stuff up in the mountains area. Yeah. But the forest warden here is more involved in logging and clear cutting and that kind of stuff. He's involved Down here, in all that. really? Yeah. You think, you know, that's what I said. I had the exact same reaction. Up north, it would make sense yeah. to me. He's like, no, you're just more here than you think. Really? You know, you know, clears a lot, or selective okay. cuts a lot, he has to be involved. Be lucky. Actually, on the top of the thing, I gave you all those invoices. And I put in a PO <coughs> a month or so back when we were dealing with all this stuff. And 
and put it in for ten thousand thirty one dollars or something. Uh, but actually, the cost of all the radios and the graphics is actually coming in four hundred dollars cheaper than anyway. They did it all for ninety seven change. Excellent. That's so excellent. Good. We managed to save a few dollars there also. And that is scheduled to go to two way on January the second. Um, right after the first half of the new year, which I have back in that week. And actually, we used it on our first call the other night. We had a little car in Dover, so I said, Well, I got this car, I might as well take it and start using it. So that's what we did. So that's where we are, that's all that I have. So, Chief Dutram was, just before you came in, um, came up, was talking about the call over on Highland with the overdose. Mm -hmm. And Jody had raised the point, she can't put him be here tonight, but raised the point that. It was, um, the ambulance came from South Berwick, didn't come from Dover, and she and I were both remembering a conversation that we had with you, that we thought Dover was going to start responding to that, uh, this side of town, that side of town, because they were closer. Yeah, it hadn't quite been okay. approved yet, okay. we approached Dover with that, but I okay. haven't got anything back. So, she same. and I were both misremembering because we thought it already had. Yeah. No, I haven't got anything back on them yet. Yeah, what I recall is that something will eventually make its way back here if that were to happen. We would have to sign off yeah. on it. And I had I did think about that, but I thought I was also away ill True. for yeah. a couple of weeks, so I didn't know what had happened. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, when we've made the, it's kind of been back and forth. The ones that Dover is taking now is the Hall Ridge Gilman area. So they're already covering some yeah, time. Already okay, I knew that. that. Okay. That one, that section is done. <coughs> And that's okay. a spin-off from, it was an OD body dump kind of thing that ended up with CPR with not a survivable outcome. Yeah. Basically somebody had dumped somebody right behind that dental outfit over there. Oh, Jesus. And, and that's our end. So we went, our PD went, and Dover came. Because it was kind of one of those, one of those timeline things, sometimes a lot of confusion on who owns it. Mm -hmm. Right. So everybody gets sent. Yeah. So after that was done, I had a conversation with Chief Hagman, and it's already been an agreement that they like all that. Because... Hall, Ridge, and Gillen right there, only like half, the bottom half of those streets belong to us. Right. A total of like seven buildings. Yeah. So it's like, that's yeah, someone's had an angle. Yeah, there's one house that comes runs right through the middle of it. You know, they pay taxes here and Dover. And it's right. Like, wow. That must be good. So <laughs> that section's already done. And uh, we had approached them to say, what about Highland? Uh, actually, basically, what we had to do oh, four years ago was over to the greenhouse. But then when you start yeah. doing some of that, you start stepping on York's toes. <coughs> so it's like, we were kind of going to go right with the town line edges. The Oak Street area, Highland, and all the way up to the Paul Ridge. And the other one that's a, um, is like Pinecrest, which is right sure. across from the Yeah, yeah. And that's mm -hmm. another one of those streets that's cut in half. And then Kelvin. So not all of Pinecrest is... Uh that's right, because, the, yeah, that's right, one of the abutters of... Oh, for sure, yeah. yeah. No, no, but... Dover, but um, right. I mean, does it make sense for Dover or for Summersport? I mean, to go to Pinecrest would make more sense for Dover. Dover, Dover like Dover, where Americans coming from. Dover can beat them. Have to for Dover to get there. Dover can beat them. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of the way we can come with that. A lot of times yeah, they can come right down, uh, wherever that road is. I can't think. Off well, 6th Street and then down. And then uh, the straight yeah. down, then there's just that ambulance is up yeah. north end by Liberty, so they come right down there, and they would definitely get there before mm. American. Well, we can pass it on to her. Mm -hmm. Like I said, we both were remembering something else. And yep. It makes a lot more sense now. So is Pinecrest now in the Stelta do Pinecrest now? That's not, not yet. Not That's yet. That's the next okay. one we've discussed, and I haven't heard anything yep. back from them. But we're looking at that's one that makes sense for everybody to in for us. We have to run all through Dover to get there and even go to Kellen drive through summers with our door to get to the very back side of our stuff. So it's, it's just, there's no easy way for us to get to these things. So it just makes more sense. And they're, they're coming closer and closer. And the other thing we've talked about, just so that you know, kind of will be aware, is with the passing of Chief Gorman and the South Burroughs Fire Chief, once they appoint um, Joey Russo is going to become their new fire chief, it just hasn't happened officially yet. Um, we were approached the other day. We have mutual aid agreement with South Burroughs. Sure during the daytime for a smoke in the building and confirmed fires that they come here. Yeah. We're going to expand that. It's okay. going to be 24-7, 365. For that. Rather South Berwick is on call as well. So 
stuff for it. Yeah. Right now we have the daytime stuff. Right. We're going to expand that day. Is that plus go in there and then up here? Okay. Not limiting it just to the yeah. eight to four stuff. Oh, okay. We're going to expand it all the way around. Okay. And that, that's a spinoff from the Empire. Just not sure if we're going to have enough all the time. So they approach us. They right approach now. us, and yeah. they're, they're kind of in the same boat. Not not to the not to the restraints we are, but so we kind of suggest. It's a no-brainer in my book. Yeah. Why would you say no? Mm -hmm. Well, it's good that we can do that because we can't do that with the post fleets, you know, because of the different jurisdictions. But right. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Okay. I'm just trying to cover it. Yeah, no, that makes sense to me. Okay, that's the <coughs> Excuse me. I got all the papers. Okay, sounds good. I hope good. you have an uneventful and quiet uh, yes, for sure. yeah. weekend holiday season, for sure. Yeah, and we'll see. Yeah. I never anticipate that, but we'll just let it go. We'll handle it as it comes, and we'll go from there. So. Right. Was the fire up in Stanford at Christmas or after Christmas? I can't remember. Fire where? The giant at the mill. Remember up in Stanford? But after Christmas or before Christmas? We've been there twice. They had two different places. A huge fire that was up there. Yeah, that was last fall. Um, we were up there in the fall because we were coming back from there and going over. Mm -hmm. no, I thought it was a winter one too. Yeah. Let's hope not. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. But we got to know what's coming. So. Okay. All right. Thank well, you. Nice holiday. Thank you. All right. On to town administration. So I, I'm not. I'm, I can't. Uh, bring things up on my machine, unfortunately. Okay. So I drafted a notice on uh, soliciting at the transfer station. Did you? I saw it. I, I, let me pull it up. I don't... Do, you, do you have it? <coughs> I can't remember anything yeah, that right. I, I wanted to change. I just, I, 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 just, I looked at it. I just, I, I can't think of it. Let me pull it up. Yeah, you can just read it out. No, read it out. Yeah, I can do it. It's not very long, so it's not. It's for sure. Okay. Per no solicitations within the transfer station. Per notice of the select board, solicitations and or political canvassing are not permitted within the gates of the transfer station. Solicitations for community groups may be allowed with express permission of the select board. December 2018. Should be 17, probably. Yes. That's what I, I knew there was something. Yes. <laughs> good, good point. I knew good there point. was something. So does that seem seem reasonable to me? I mean, so, um, so I, I'll ask George if we can put a sign up at the transfer station. We can put this on the website, whatever. So can I have a motion then to adopt this? Um, yeah, we can talk policy. I move that we accept the no solicitation within the transfer station policy dated December twenty seventeen. I'll second that. Yeah, I mean, so this doesn't stop. If people still want to. Old signs or whatever outside the gate. Outside the More gate. Power yeah, it's so. inside the gate. Yeah. Right? So that, you know, they're not in the way. They're not, you know, people can still, if they, you know, just do their Saturday business sure. or uh, and not have to, you know, if they want to stop if somebody's outside the gate, they can. They certainly sit on the table on the other side of the gate. So, Wait, so that may cause issues too. But do you want to see it? No, I'll send it to me. I will send it to you. Yeah. You want me? Maybe I can do that. Can I do uh, that now? Yeah. Actually, it's 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 I open to anyone with the link because it's going to go on the website. Okay. I'm going to so. forward sound dot theory at Ramos or okay. yes. send. Okay. In theory, you're going to get something. Okay. All right. So I'm ready to call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 Thank you. Uh, I'm going to table emergency <coughs> management continuity of operations, but we, there is something for us to look at. So we should I read it today. There's, um, oh, do you have any comments? I have yes. The, the only comment I have, and I, I mentioned, oh, well, it's actually mentioned the ball, but I forgot. Um, there's uh, the, the, the line of secession. Um, so if something, God forbid, there's an emergency and something happens to you, it should say then the vice chair, because we have one now, that where there wasn't one for a while. Right, and then I don't know if we officially call the next member the clerk or not, but that's what typically just the member. person's called. But clerk. so yeah, there's usually have a chair, a vice chair, and a clerk. But we haven't we didn't officially do that. But okay, so line of succession. Okay. Well, I don't want to report to do it anyways. But. Anything else? 
No, that that's the only thing that that was only that oh, popped out that we could change that. How long is it? Did it take a long time? No. Okay. Well, no. I read the um, okay. the section that pertained to loss. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, I'll go down to a deeper dive and read the whole yeah. thing, but that was the part that jumped out. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, I we did get a recommendation from the budget committee. Uh, I read that too. Yeah. So we can either talk about it or wait until we're ready to deal with that sort of thing. I wait till Joe is here too. Okay. So we'll table it. Uh, elderly exemptions, that's there, sort of like a placeholder, so we will table mm -hmm. that. Oak Street Boundary, will table. Paid holidays for employees on probation, we will table. Average our contract, table. Um, uh, job descriptions, <coughs> nothing to say there. Policies and procedures, nothing to say. So I think that's it for town administration, unless there's wow. something. Mm -hmm. All right, so now it's folder work. Did you get all of that? We're essentially tabling everything. Yeah, I think we'll table. There's a uh, well, we're meeting again before the meeting, so planning board's meeting in January. Okay. But <coughs> excuse me. Okay. Oh, as far as activities and updates, yeah. Well, there is a budget committee meeting on Wednesday for the town budget, so the CI. Comment this this website. Yeah. Wednesday. Yep. I don't know if I can be back in time. Well, you don't need me to handle everything, but no. George will be there. Okay. He would need us anyway. Weather, per weather permitting. Of course. Of course right? yeah. 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 Now Elizabeth's having some dental surgery that day, so I will be busy. Okay. I hope things go well. Not me too. Um, so the first building permit we have this evening is 2017-140, 471 Locust Street. Uh, they're putting in a, a solar tracker. Reviewed by Mr. Clark, it has a fee of two hundred and forty-five dollars. And uh, there's a note that um, if you want to, there's a diagram and everything, but um, for so folks understand, it's the same exact style, and he has it on here that um, Steve Roberts has on his property. So it's one of those ones that moves mm -hmm. to follow the sun, I guess. So. Seventeen dash one three seven thirty one Wentworth Street, also known as Lot Four, uh, is an electrical uh, permit for ninety five dollars. Also has seven reviews by Mr. Do you, Clark. Do you see these? Oh, I didn't say when it expires. It will expire on six one eighteen. Huh? Tempest. That's Tempest Fujit, exactly. Exactly what I was thinking, actually. Scary, huh? Did I already? I didn't read that one yet, so I shouldn't sign that. Uh... Alright, the next one is 2017-138, 11 Cricket Lane. Having some plumbing work done. Is, uh, fee is $105. Also, would be a Mr. Clark. Where is Cricket Lane? Cricket Lane is off of Silver Street. It's <laughs> a test. No, no, it's not a geography test. I thought maybe it was off Silver Road. It is, sure. yeah. No, it's, it's just after Pine. Pine. I was going to say either just before or after Pine, depending on which way you're coming from. And next we have. Ooh, this is a heavy duty one. Oh, I need to look at the stamp, of course. Uh, permit 20. Uh, yeah. Building permit 2017 139. <coughs> the Hack and Cough Continuous. Um, 18 Wentworth Street, also known as Lot 18. Um, it is a new construction. Mr. Clark has reviewed and is coordinating all the appropriate inspections with them. The fee is $2,225. I'm sure there's no one. 
Accept it. Accept it. We've got a stamp. We've got to do that for this one. Thank you cards for some of the kind acts this year from Kate. Thank you for taking the time to clean up the center island near the fire station. This is to Mary um, uh, Malia. Is that what that says? Okay. Well, we thank her for, for doing it. She asked us to sign it. Next says, thank you for the hours you have donated helping Kate and Andrea in the office. Kate with a heart. our last name, sorry. Okay. This is to Jean Turcott. She may know them, maybe that's why she Fair enough, yep. Yeah. The generous gifts uh, of a display box for the Boston Cane. Um, oh, Carrie, yes, Carrie. Yeah. Excellent. Um, we will now display the pride of our 100 year old residence, Kate. And obviously, it's to uh, Carrie and Jack uh, Boyle. Mm -hmm. We thank them for that. Yeah, sure. Very lovely gesture. Mm -hmm. For sure. And last but certainly not least, uh, thank you for the beautiful flowers and greens that keep Town Hall looking inviting. Uh, Kate and us to uh, the nice folks, uh, Brian and the rest of the crew down at Wentworth Greenhouse. And I think that's all I have for us. here end of the year I think so um, this is a purchase order that we talked about for supplies for the loft oh yeah, yeah. and I asked Caroline to ensure that there was money in the uh, highway department you yeah. know with the rebudgeting and she says yes there is so um, I, okay. yeah okay I'm with purchase order number 982 to Middleton building supplies for uh, Supplies for the uh, the new loft at the highway department for one thousand one hundred twenty one dollars. I will second that. Any discussion? Or well, they're saying <coughs> aye. aye. Excuse me.
This is a request for fund transfer. Yep. Uh, I, I, I don't know, maybe there's something else in the folder that will become apparent, but... Is this for mm -hmm. maybe... Oh, from the mm -hmm. trustee of the trust fund? Yes, but uh, I expect something to be filled out, so maybe there's uh, material here. Right. So this is our, uh, in our budget, you know, under the welfare line, we've got the community support. Oh, right, right, right. So this is a request for disbursement to, yes. um, I'll read it and then, because I have it in front of me, or you can just put it in motion if you want to read it. Sure, if Okay, yeah. Okay, I'll move that we disperse requested funds of the amounts of $500 to Haven, uh, $500 to Casa of New Hampshire, $1,500 to Community Action Partnership, $1,500 to Cornerstone VNA, $1,000 to the Homemakers of Stratford County, and $1,000 to Seeds of Faith Food Pantry. I will second that. For the year 2017. For yes, for the year 2017. Uh, I'll second that. Any discussions? These are the, <coughs> those are the amounts that we had These are the budgeted. plans, yep. This is the plan, so total $7,000. Um, I assume. Three, four, five. Yes. And these are the folks that actually. And we get reports from them. Show us yeah, the benefits to, to, the, the, to the residents. residents Rawls, 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 Rawls. Unlike other folks. Yeah, that I mean, they're in the details here. Right. That's right. All right. I will Can call. You yes, of course. I'll give it to you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Is our warrant. Yeah. Just an All right. Line. So maybe. So here's a request for fund transfer for forty thousand dollars from the capital reserve fund. Okay. To the general fund. So that's. They don't need us. For that one, yeah. No, we're supposed. They're to. supposed to. They don't need an okay to give us a check. So that, that one puzzles me. I mean, we need a re so so the money goes this way, right? Yes. So the money that we've authorized to be to be put in the reserve fund, mm -hmm. CIP, the land conservation land fund, mm -hmm. that's from us to the trustees. Right. That would require a disbursement, a fund transfer. Mm -hmm. They're just gonna. We don't we don't authorize them to do. The, they're their own entity. Mm -hmm in some sense, and they will transfer transfer it. So I don't know why we need this. I saw an email from the chair of the trustees of the trust fund asking, asking for it, so I don't, I don't know. He was just, well, he's expecting our check. He, he wants our check for the CIP, right. the ingoing CIP from 2017, which I don't see here. See, this is from the capital reserve, from the capital reserve, from the capital reserve. We don't. Uh, from the capital reserve. Okay. Caroline, just checking in for an update. I'll start moving funds out of the sub account so I can issue checks once the select board request is ready. So, we're expecting a request for some of them. All right, here's one that I know we saw. Yeah. This is, so here's our obligation to put $190,000 into the capital reserve fund mm -hmm. per Warren article. I know she's, she has the check as well. Right. So let's... Warren let's, article 15? Yes. Okay. Do we need to, a motion or do we yes. just sign it? Okay. Well, either way. I guess we just sign it. All right. And I'll move that we request, we, re, we, we transfer funds in the amount of 190000 from the general fund to the capital reserve fund for a Warren Article 15 that passed at the annual town meeting. I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. aye.
Yes, I don't think that's absolutely correct form, but I'll just let it be. I, I would I would err on the set of caution and just do okay. the forms, to be honest. Yeah. That's what the okay. chair of the trust to the trust fund want to so he can transfer the money or then rather than transfer All the right. money. I'm just now I I'm just now, I just now uh, made it make sense. So okay. we're asking them to give to us. So we're just asking them to please right. do now is the good time to do the fund transfer in support of these things. So um, Well, let's just quickly get through them. Okay. So I'll move that we request fund transfer, transfer, pardon me, in the amount of $40,000 from the capital reserve fund to the general fund in support of Warren Article 13, which passed at the annual town meeting to support the uh, purchase of the fire command vehicle. I guess is that one. I will second that. Any questions? <coughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 We don't all sign, it's just you. Yeah. All right. So all motion is. Yeah. Okay. okay. What I think this should have been, the ones with the check should be distribution requests. Not, not fund transfer requests, but it doesn't make any difference. It's, it'll be an authorization and it will work. So I'm going to let you work through that. You don't need All right. I'm going to move that we transfer funds. The amount of $50,000 from the Capital Reserve Fund to the General Fund in support of Warren Article 12 that passed at the annual town meeting in support of the Public Safety Communications Warren Article, which is the title because I've already read the Warren Article number of books. I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All right. I'll move that we transfer funds in the amount of $10,000 from the Capital Reserve Fund to the General Fund in support of Warren Article 11 relative to Town Hall security that passed at the annual town meeting. I'll second that. Any questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Um, get it down by the end of it anyway. <laughs> Request transfer of funds in the amount of $55,000 from the Capital Reserve Fund to the General Fund relative to, in support of Warren Article 10 relative to the Town Hall drainage which passed at the annual town meeting. The 55000 yeah. okay. uh, I'll second that. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. And last but not least, I move that we transfer $10,000 from the general fund to the Conservation Land Trust Fund as authorized in War Article 16 relative to the annual support of the land trust fund as authorized by the annual town meeting. For 10000 I said that last. That's the end of that. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. I'll second that. Um, and this is a disbursement from us to them, so there's a check to sign. And did you sign the other check, Mike? No. Well, you signed everything, so I, I didn't. Here. Okay. So, I'm happy to. You want me to? Well, if you've been signing checks, sure, why not? Yeah, just sign that. All right, so can I call this question before you start sure, signing? Right. All those in favor say aye. 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 So that last one went out. So two of them are from the general. the last one? This is 10, th This was 190. You already did this one, though. Yeah. yeah. This one? Yeah. This is 10,000 from the general fund to the Conservation Land Trust Fund for 10. 10,000. Warren Article 16. Yeah. Okay. So these two are, we're, we're writing and signing the checks from our general fund to the trust funds. The rest are really requests to have them dis disperse to us to cover right. the, cost. Yeah. the costs of all of those town meeting, town meeting authorizations. All right, I believe that is this part. So I don't know what that blank one was. Maybe in case it's something. Different. Well, let's see, make sure we did them all, right? Yes. So we did town hall drainage, right? Yep. For 55? Yep. We did town hall security for 10? Yep. Public safety communications for 50? 50, right? Yep. Command vehicle for 40? We did. And we did capital improvement for 190? Yep. Correct. 
And the conservation land trust? For 10. For 10? All right. We did them all. Excellent. All right. Thanks, Mike. So this must have been just a yeah. Yeah, we'll see. I assume that too. All right. This is <coughs> the uh, response to Attorney Whiskeel. I don't know how to pronounce his name. Whiskeel? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't know. He, he wrote to us on behalf of uh, Mr. Phipps about the land use, the uh, the recommended uh, avatar's recommendation that we uh, discontinue current land use on his land. And so this is the response that I drafted. So I, think I, you emailed I, I did email yeah, it. So, all right, so I'm going to sign yeah. that. And in essence, it says that the board accepts the recommendation of Avatar that the land no longer conforms to current use yeah. and that his next appeal is to the Bureau of Land and Tax Appeals. All right. How do you spell this name? Yeah. <laughs> W-Y-S-K-I-E-L. This is if you want to. Yeah, okay. Very good, then. Um, oh, okay, so the, um, I'm, I talked to Caroline about this. So the monies from the Transportation Improvement Capital Reserve Fund, you know, the $5 surcharge that we're charging, oh, yes. it's in a reserve fund. Right. And so we've actually spent it. You know, it's going yes. to cover some of the uh, road projects right. that we've had. So we would like to request that. It goes into it, yes comes into the general fund from that agency. fund. Yes. Whoa. We need to request it. All right. So All right, I'll move that we transfer funds in the amount of $7,178 from the general fund to the Transportation Improvement Capital Reserve Fund uh, relative to Warren Article number 20. I will second that, but it's going the wrong way. I can only tell you what I'm reading. Yes. I can only read what's in front of me. I, don't know. Oh, goodness, goodness, goodness. I would imagine we're going oh, the other way. Oh, oh, now I remember. Just she did say we haven't actually put it in the trustees' fund yet. It has just been sitting in the general fund. So it needs to go. It the does way. need to go, so there is a check that, that supports it. So I second this, and I now understand it. I'll so call the question. All those in favor say aye. 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 We do have agency over those funds, so we will probably be doing a reverse That's very important. soon. There you go. There's that. All right, and here's um, just you know attorney bills that have come in for. General representation, some of our legal questions, and the boundary line on the boundary sure. line. Relative to um, the 112 yes. Rollins Road. No. As I uh, drove by that eyesore twice today, <laughs> I was wondering about it. No, I but I don't have to live next to it, but yeah. it bothers me to drive yeah. by it. Normally, what we try to do at the beginning of January, the beginning of the new year, is to sit with our attorney and map out. The year. I mean, it never all. It never goes according to plan. No, I, no, I know. But, but well. we can, we can, uh, you know, that can be the general compliance bucket issue. Because yeah. I know we had, we had reached out to them, and it was in Mr. Ball, Kevin Ball. Was Kevin handling it? Maybe. I don't know. I mean, it's either, either. If, if it's either Steve or Kevin. Yeah, I mean, it's fine. Okay. So. But I don't want to lose sight of that. And yeah. Obviously, our yeah. friends on uh, Clement Road. Right. So this is another request for disbursement. Um, Caroline is requesting it on behalf of the two folks who served as our health officer this year to get the $500 stipend. So it's prorated, I guess. Mm -hmm. Half and half? 
half and half, yeah, on both. Do you have a you have a book? I can't see. I think it's two sixty a piece, which means that two fifty. I don't have mine. I don't get a copy. I thought it was buy one hundred dollars. I do too. Yes. Although I, I do remember that well, that wasn't one of those that was that somehow a part of the two percent one. It? it shouldn't be, I don't think. But no. that's the only thing I can think of. Maybe it could be, but five hundred is the number of the six on my It is five hundred from ten. It's budgeted for five hundred from ten. Well, it's ten dollars over the budget, so it's left. So it's two fifty five. So should we make it 255? Not yet. I don't know how yet. We're authorized to spend X amount of dollars. It's like we should do it. Up, or up to, I suppose, really. So, uh, <coughs> okay. I thank them for their service. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll move uh, uh, for disburse authorized disbursement of funds in the amount of $510 for our health officers to be distributed 255 and 255. One second. And I'll call the question. I'll ask the say aye. 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 So here's the engagement letter from Dumay and Furlan for our audit. 2018? Yes, I, I. This is the first I see it, so I'm not ready to talk about this. Change at all? It probably hasn't, but I, I'm, I'm looking for the bottom line. Yeah, no, it's just sort of repeated. I'm not suggesting just flat out. Yes. Well, we have another meeting before the end of the year. So. Yeah, we do. So I'll ask him for an electronic version too. Does hmm. Does he usually tell us how much? Here, there's another I'm copy. sure they probably do. Let's see if I have it. Oh, This is from Kenny Bump Savings Bank. Dear Town of Rollinsburg, please find and close the documentation for the above referenced commercial loan, which was recently paid in full. Retain these documents for future reference. Thank you for choosing Kenny Bump Savings Bank. If you borrow only needs, if you have questions regarding any of our products and services, please call customer service. So this was the one that oh, now returned to us. Yay. Thank you very much. Oh, you're welcome. SRPC annual report. You may recognize some people on the cover. Did you make the cover? I did. Oh, look at that. This is the dispatch letter, which we, these are, this is old. Okay, so we're good. There's, all right, so now there's this order of business, Michael, that, um, so this has to do with the light out there, which it's oh, a yeah. fixture with two bulbs. Yes. One of them is like completely corroded or out, and it's not just the bulb, it's the, the fixture the itself. Fixture itself sure. Yeah. And so Simo uh, was here, yeah. and um, I asked him, well, give us, rec make a recommendation, and we wanted to, to, to illuminate the lights and the, you know, as much of the walkway as is, you know, practical. Right. right. Um, so this is his quote. And if we are that's happy with this, that's it's three hundred and ten dollars. Yeah, so, so if we're happy with that, I, what I can do <coughs> is sign this and ask, uh, uh, you know, 
you can authorize me to sign a purchase order that comes from this, and we can just okay. hit that if you want to uh, make yeah, a motion to that. The reason for the Unless we have another electrician we want to get a quote from. But it seems to be reasonable to me. It's under, it's under the amount by which we need yeah. to get it. Oh, that's the fire station. Sorry. All right, yeah, I'll well, well, authorize that we do a purchase order and you can sign it to Seymour Electric for uh, the amount of $310 to replace the light on the front of the town hall. I will second that. Any yeah. questions or comments? All those in favor say aye. 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 I know who to call now. It was done. Seems rather reasonable compared to other things I've been done or our building over the years. Just had to have done. manner supply the information for one of your requests relative to the um, the audit information. Correct. Okay. Yes. I was able to find it on my And did we did we get um did we get a I I, I forgot about this, I apologize, but did we get a I'm sorry if you're reading. I I'll wait to ask a question. Okay. Did we did we respond officially? Yes. Did I did so, I, then I missed it so I apologize. So well I have put together the you know, the town record that we have is the employee earnings that we put together. Right. We don't we don't break it out. We by don't break it out in the in this particular way. So right. it's not a record that exists. Right. And so it's not a record that, that we can, we can make provide. Available. Right. So that's the that's, I mean so I'll look this over again, but so that's why I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna respond right to that. So I'll look it over again and we'll, so, we'll see. And and I and I, and I don't I'm not trying to be obstructive much. So if if the, if the if the record doesn't exist, it's not something that we can provide. I mean, I know that 91A is pretty clear. We don't have to create Correct. a record to provide it. We don't have exactly. it. So, I, okay. Yeah. So, we don't, so it's clear in my mind. Yeah. We don't um, break the information out in this way. So yeah. I haven't read this yes. yet, so I don't know. Also, my understanding of 91A is not that the information is provided within five days, is that we have a response within five days, yeah. but not necessarily yeah. the information. No, no, that that is my understanding of the of the statute okay. as well. Well, did we respond in five? Yes, okay. we did. Yeah, we responded. Okay, yes. I wanted to make sure that we yeah. we did that. Okay. Yeah. All right. I'll we'll look this over. We'll uh, we'll figure it out. One way or the other. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. I think we're done. Unless there's anything else. Good. All right. We will adjourn Merry by consensus. Eighty-six. Happy Hanukkah, everybody. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah. Happy Hanukkah.